Hi, hello. I'm Pastor Paul Moses, the Truth Bible Church, Medical International Ministries. Today in Truth Wine Stories, we're going to be looking at portrayal. Let's watch. So, tell me, how is Andrew? He's amazing. Yes. Oh my goodness. He treats me like a queen. Oh. My goodness. He won't let me pay for anything. And he's taking me out to the nicest places. Oh, oh my goodness, I've, I've never met anyone like this before. This, I think this is really special. And he, and he initiates praying together. Oh, my. And he talks about Jesus all the time. Oh, he is so I'm, blessed. Oh, my goodness. I know. I'm like, wow, I'm nervous because this, this is really, this is really special. Yes, Lord. I'm going to pray for you, yeah? We're going to pray. Please, I need to pray. Thank yes. you. Thank okay. you. So. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you for this relationship happening right now for Sarah, Lord, and Andrew, Lord. I really pray that everything is going well, Lord. And I prophesy right now that Andrew is the right one, that Andrew, as he treats you like a queen, you will be a queen for him, and he will be a king for you in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I haven't heard from Andrew in ages. I really want to know what's happening. Jesus, please help me. I really want to depend on you and give my heart to you. Thank you, Jesus. Please show me in Jesus' name. Oh, a notification, Facebook. Judith, Judith Page. I haven't heard from Judith in a while either. Let's have a look, see what she's up to. Judith? Andrew? What's happening? I don't understand. Jesus. You young lady in the purple, the Lord is saying, Prepare yourself over the next six months. After this, you will meet a great man of God. You desire to be a wife will be fulfilled. God says, daughter, wipe away your tears and forget the men of your past that used you and took your purity. In this process, God is restoring your purity. He says, you are clean, daughter. You are a clean slate. Walk intimately with God. Allow him to heal your brokenness. And you will see the goodness of God. Daughter, be patient. Be patient. Be patient, the Lord says. If you believe it, say hallelujah. 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 Yes, we bless you. We bless you, daughter. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Bless you. Bye, brother. Prophecy, whatever. Well, betrayal hurts. And at some point in our lives, at some time, we may well have felt a hurtful sting of betrayal. And that pain, you know, it's really something that we have a choice of carrying with us for the rest of our lives. Or it's something that we can learn to let go and so that we can move on. You know, the Bible deals with the topic of betrayal quite a bit and tells us how it hurts, tells us how to forgive, and tells us even how to let the pain go and how to let ourselves heal. The depth of the pain of betrayal was caused in Psalm 55, verses 12 to 14, which reads, For it's not an enemy who taunts me, then I could bear it. It's not an adversary who deals insolently with me, then I could hide from him. But it's you, a man, my equal, my companion, my familiar friend, we used to take sweet counsel together. Within God's house, we walked in the throne. When we look at the clip, what happened? The sermon perhaps should have been better off oversharing. But you know, betrayal is theft. It is theft, it is stealing. And we see that Sarah lost her sense of peace, lost her sense of well-being, lost the joy and the innocent delight. These things were effectively stolen from her. There's lots of examples of betrayal in the Bible. Joseph and his brothers, Jacob and Esau, Absalom and David, Jesus and Judas. And the Bible reminds us that God does not turn a blind eye to betrayal. There are spiritual consequences for committing betrayal. 
Proverbs 19 to 5 tells us that a false witness will not go unpunished, a liar will not escape. But the most important thing I think that we have to take from this is what happens to Sarah, where she struggles even to receive a prophetic word, struggles even to see potentially the brother that might even be the fulfillment of that prophetic word. Jesus was a great example of how to deal with betrayal when he faced the betrayals of Judas. He was able to forgive those who hurt him. So we must look to forgive those who harmed us in these situations. He reminds us of God's strength. He reminds us that with God, we can get through anything. And you know, just as a parting word, perhaps you are one who betrayed someone else. You know, the reasons for these things can be many. Could be jealousy, could be grief, could be power, could be fear. So many things that can cause betrayal, can cause people to push and this way, but it's an opportunity to repent. An opportunity to repent. So if you need to repent and make right, believe God, say you're sorry, and he'll forgive you. And if you need to forgive, today's the day, release that person and move on into everything God has for you. So Heavenly Father, just pray right now, for every single person who has suffered from the trial, Father Lord, everyone who feels that their life has changed irrevocably and doesn't quite know how to make it forward. And even today, Lord God, that you will touch their hearts as they watch this clip, that you will touch their hearts, that you will give them the strength to be just like Jesus, to release the one who betrayed them, to release the one who hurt them, to be able to receive a fresh from you, Lord God, that which you have for them to go forward. And Lord God, also pray for anyone who has been the betrayer, that Lord, today, even as they watch, Lord, that there'll be a softening of their heart, that they will repent, and they'll be able to receive your forgiveness, Father Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we just want to thank you, even as you overshadow anyone who's watching at this point in time, Lord God, shift and change circumstances for them, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for watching True Crime Stories today.